What is happening, people? It is Brian Aldridge with NeverState.com, and welcome to the Casa de Neverstate, where my wife and I are training, and I thought I'd bring you guys along for my overhead press day. Now, I know it's been a little bit since I put out a training video, and if you guys saw my last Barbells and Bushcraft video, you'll know that I got another deer tick on me, uh, and it definitely gave me some Lyme complications. It's actually been over a month and I still have a mark. So it has not been all bad. I have had a couple good lifts, which I'm gonna to try to throw up here now, but they have been few and far between. This time, when the lime kind of got inflamed and is attacking me, uh, what it chose to go after this time was my left knee, which is actually a really weak point on my body anyway, because when I was 18 years old, I had a really, really bad uh, knee injury and uh, knee folded in half, kneecap got shattered. It's, it's always given me problems and I've always had some arthritis pain and things like that. However, uh, there is something called Lyme arthritis, which I didn't even know existed. However, uh, that's kind of what showed up. And in my left knee, literally within hours, my knee like doubled in size, like the joint doubled in size and the arthritis pain was a different level of arthritis pain. So um, I really was not very ambulatory for a couple days. I really couldn't go up and down steps very well. I was limping around, making a lot of old man noises. It wasn't good for anybody. So uh, obviously the training wasn't spectacular. So today is kind of my first day getting back. I have been training, of course, uh, but just kind of more statically and just getting things done the way that I can. Today I'm actually gonna try to move again and bring you guys along, give you guys my thoughts and feelings as I go throughout and hopefully things go better than I am expecting them to. All right guys, so for my strength side set today, what I'm doing is eight grenade pull-ups. If you don't know what grenades are, all that basically is are two inch cylinders that you can hang from a pull-up bar and it completely changes the pull-up exercise. It makes it a lot more challenging on your grip. It's just a cool way to challenge yourself in a different way on that exercise. From there, I'm going into an axle continental clean and press. Now, a lot of people look at this movement and are like, why in the heck would anyone ever choose to do that? And the reason why is because of strongman and that's pretty much the only reason and but in reality uh, the continental cleaner press is the way that everyone used to get a barbell up to their shoulders to press above their head or anything like that like in old timey strongman days because the bars did not rotate if you guys think about strong men with like the leopard leotard on and those like round balls those didn't rotate right so you couldn't just snap it up with your wrist like you normally could a regular power clean so what they came up with was something called the continental where they rest the bar on their stomach halfway through flip their hands over then do a mini clean up to their shoulders now if you could do this motion all in one one single motion then it was said that you got the movement clean and that is where a clean comes from. However, before that, there was this, and Strongman likes to keep up with the tradition, and the axle is two inches, so it is a lot harder to hold on to when you get up to some higher weights. Around like 300 pounds, an axle double overhand gets a lot more challenging to hold on to than you would probably think of. Uh, to give you some idea of the diameter, it is a little bit bigger than like a Red Bull can, is what I would say. A little bit smaller than a soda can, a little bit bigger than a Red Bull can, and that's what you're trying to like throw around and do power clean stuff with. After the continental cleaner press, I am doing a single arm farmer's walk, and the reason why I'm going single arm today is because of my knee, as well as my Achilles tendon, both are in a lot of pain and feel like they could be in some danger, so I'm trying to keep things light and just trying to get some movement in because I love moving when working out. I hate working out statically, so there's just a little bit of single arm farmer's walk and then I finish it up with some core exercise like I always do on my giant sets which ends up being some dragon flags here. Now I am giving you guys all this information at once and I'm overlaying a lot of the sets uh, because I'm trying to stay as focused as possible. A lot of times with these workout videos I lose focus because I'm too interested in making a video than actually working out and then one or the other does not go well. So today I'm really focused on getting a good workout in and still trying to include you guys. So I'm sorry for a little bit different of the format but I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm gonna go see if I can't do a little bit better and finish up my strength stuff. All right, and here is my top set of the day, which is 300 pounds, and it's the first time I put 300 pounds above my head in a very, very long time. So this was actually a much bigger deal to me than it probably should have been. However, it did not go bad, and uh, I'll take that all day long. I am definitely not ready to be talking yet. All right, so what you guys are seeing right now is kind of the volume slash conditioning portion. All I did was I worked up to that 300 pounds and I felt very, very good about that. That's the heaviest I've been in a while. So I uh, felt good about that. And then I dropped back uh, to 200 pounds. And then at the top very minute, I would do one continental clean and press with three push jerks um, and then three burpee lateral jumps. Take their minute to rest. And it 
I, I definitely bit off more than I could chew on that one. That was, that was ridiculous. So now to be completely honest with you guys, I am right on that verge of uh, being too sick to continue. So what I'm gonna try to do is slow things down and do some assistance stuff, focusing on some of my weak points. Hopefully that's gonna involve some sort of waiter's walk as, law, as well as some chain presses overhead. Um, just trying to do some stuff to work my stability because I think that is one of the weakest points right now. And of course, tricep strength. Guys, if you're having trouble with your pressing, build up your triceps. If your bench sucks, build your triceps. If your overhead press sucks, build your triceps. If what Whatever press in the world sucks, just do your triceps and not like kickbacks or anything like that, like floor presses, close grip bench presses, weighted dips, things like that, and you'll be shocked at how quickly your pressing will go up. If you're not having a problem with your tricep strength, then look at your stability. I don't think mine is really that much of my triceps. I think it has more to do with my stability. So I'm trying to get something heavier above my head, walking around with it, try to find those balance points and uh, just make some sense of it. So I'm gonna go to that now. All right guys, so that was the day. It actually went in a lot of ways better than I expected to. The 300 above head was definitely better than I thought I was going to get today. Um, so I'm very happy with that. I did not get as much volume. My conditioning sucks. I'm not moving well, uh, but it's to be understood. I, I haven't been moving much uh, with everything going on. So I'm happy to be back doing this, to be back training for real. I'm happy to be back here with the dogs, with my wife, training hard here at my house. So guys, I thank you so much for absolutely everything. I did mention on my Instagram that I know a lot of your gyms have been shut down recently. And if you are in that position, you guys are looking for a bodyweight program. Do not forget about my Corona bodyweight program. It's, I'm not like trying to whatever, but it's a pretty good program. Like if I was just gonna do bodyweight stuff, it's actually challenging enough that uh, you'll feel like you're training instead of just uh, jumping around like a fool. Anyway, hopefully none of you are actually in that position and all of your gyms are open and everything is running smoothly. I'm sure it is. Also this week, I'll be getting in contact with the 10 people who we chose for the comments of the 200,000 subscriber giveaway. We're giving away five t-shirts in five programs. So if you guys did leave a comment on that last video and we do decide to choose you, I'll be reaching out to you through YouTube DM, all right? So there's like a little thing there. I'm gonna go to your comment, I'm gonna go to that. So make sure you're checking that over the next couple days to make sure if you did win or you did not win. But I'm so excited and I thank each and every single one of you again for that 200,000 subscribers. Just seriously a number that is mind blowing to me and I don't understand it and I'm just I'm humbled and I thank you guys so much. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I will catch up with you guys later in the week. Until I do, go out to something amazing, realize keep working hard, people. Be nice to each other. I'll see you then.